Hey guys, it's Mr. Bison here and I'm doing every exam question that has ever been asked on frequency charts in today's video. Now, if you do want to use this document, like I always say, it is linked. Now, just a bit of a pre-warning. There is a question in here which is technically not a frequency chart. It is a time series one. It is the only question that has appeared by, like on this across the whole time, which is why I just decided to include it with this because it kind of fits with this sort of stats bit. So otherwise it would be in a video by itself and it's a very odd question. So we're gonna start with some stuff on two-way tables. We'll do some bits on frequency polygons as well. So this one says here that 60 people are asked if they like to go, if they prefer to go on holiday in Britain or in Spain or in Italy. And then they've got loads of different information about whether they are male or female. It then says that one of the females is chosen at random. What's the probability this female said Spain? So I used to, with my students years ago, I used to call these questions like the too much information questions. There's just like a lot going on. If there's too much information, I would draw a two-way table. What I mean by that is one of the ways of the table, because it's a two-way table, is the holiday destination. So we've got Britain, Spain, or Italy. So I'm going to say Britain, Spain, or Italy. And then at the end, we're going to do the total. And then along the side, we've got male and female, and we're also going to have total. And then what we can do is just make this into a table. And then we're going to just try and fill in some of the information here. So 60 people are asked, which is why I'll put a 60 down here. And it says 38 of the people were male. Now you can use a calculator for this, but it's going to therefore mean that 22 of them are female. Um, 11 of the 32 people who said Britain were female. So 11 of the 32 people were female and 32 take away 11 is 21. So I can now fill in that part. Eight males said Italy and 12 people said, said Spain. And we need to find the female said Spain. So the one that I'm aiming for is I definitely want to know what this one here is. Okay, well, I'm going to figure out what the male Spain is by doing, I'll just grab my calculator. I'll do 38, take away 8, take away 21, because if I do 38, take away 8, take away 21, I'll find that there are nine people here. So all I need to do to find that missing part is it's just going to be three. Now, you could finish the rest of the table to check that it all works, but it will do. And they have said to us in this question that a female is chosen at random. So we're picking one of these females that we've got here and we want to know what's the probability that she said Spain. So it's going to be out of 22 because that's the number of females that there are and three of them said Spain. So it's going to be three out of 22. Note how you don't actually need these ones. You don't need these but we will very quickly figure them out just for the sake of having them. So this is what, 44, so that means it would be a 16, um, and this would therefore be an eight, which I think does work. Yeah, so you, do, can, you don't need those two, but it does work. So we've got the three out of 22. This is the table that we've got here, but we didn't need to have the whole table. Okay, this is kind of similar to some of the stuff I did in the previous video, because it's a frequency polygon, but actually, oh, this isn't the one I meant. I think the next question's got some stuff to do with the median. We did do a frequency polygon in the previous video. All you need to do are the midpoints of the groups. So we're going to do the midpoints and we're going to plot them with the frequency midpoints and frequency. Now the midpoint of 0 and 10, I'm just visually going to look at these things on the diagram. These are the midpoints that I have just drawn, 15, uh, sorry, 5, 15, 25 and 35. And we're just going to do the frequencies and it's one square per one frequency. So it is going to be 14, and then 18, 26, and 12. Now, literally, these are like the easiest two marks that you could ever need. Um, but sometimes people just don't know it because they've never actually like revised what a frequency polygon is. So hopefully, if you're watching this video, you'll just be like, great, that's an easy two marks to get. And it's the correct diagram. So I can't really show you this part that we've got here. All right, this is the one that's kind of like a previous bit. It's got something to do with an interval that contains the median. So there are 80 plants here. You can either do 80 plus 1 over 2, which is the 40 point bit, or you can just do 80 divided by 2, which is the 40th. And the reason you can do that is because the data is all grouped. So either of these things will be fine. So we're going to look for the 40th position. So I'm going to do the cumulative frequency by keep adding on the frequency. So it's a 7. I'm going to add on 13, which gives me 20. And then I get 34. And then that is 46. So there are 34 people in this group. We're looking for the 40th person. Well, there's an extra 12 here. So I know that the 40th person is going to be in the 40 to 50 group. And that is where the median is going to be. 
I'm going to draw a frequency polygon for this. So again, I'm going to do the middle of 10 and 20, 20 and 30, 30 and 40, 40 and 50, 50 and 60, and 60 and 70. Yep, they're all going to be the midpoints, 15, 25, 35, 45, 55, and 65. Now, along the sides here, we've just got to be a bit careful because two squares represents one frequency. So for the first one, it wants to be a 7, which means it's actually going to be here. Then it's going to be 13, so it is going to be, well, that's 15, 14, 13, like that. Then it's going to be 14, so that's two squares higher, completely wrong place. Then we're going to do 12. So that is 10, 11, 12. Each time I'm counting one, I'm counting two squares. We're then going to have 16, which is here, and then 18 for the last one. So that is going to be at this point, okay? We then just join them together using a ruler. Luckily, my app is going to do them as a ruler. And that's our frequency polygon drawn. Okay, so we did get the correct interval here, and these are the different points that should be drawn. Okay, this time we just need to write down a couple of things that are wrong with this. So it says the table shows some information about the weights of 50 potatoes. Iveta drew this frequency polygon for the information in the table. The frequency polygon is not fully correct. Write down two things that are wrong with the frequency polygon. Well, one of the things is this line at the bottom. The first and last points should not be joined. So I'm going to say the first and last points should not be joined. I can see why Iveta did that, because it doesn't actually look like a polygon unless you connect them together, but it's not a polygon, it's just what it's called. So you don't want to join the first and last together, that is one of the other mistakes. Now I guess the next thing I'd always do to check this is just to see if there's anything about the scales, because they like to do it where the scales aren't correct. So it does go 0, 10, 20, 30. It goes 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, so that all kind of seems fine. Um, I wonder if some of the values maybe haven't been plotted correctly. So we need this one is a 6. Okay, well, it's not been plotted at 6. That's the mistake that we've got here. This one has been plotted at 8. So I'm going to say that the, um, the point for 10 to 20 has been plotted at 8 rather than 6. Now, there is one more thing I've just spotted. There's no label over here. This should say frequency, but I would say the bottom and this are probably the things I would go for. So let me just put little bullet points to show these are my two separate things. Let's see if we've got them right. It says the first, let's have a look. There is no frequency level on the y-axis, okay? The polygon should not be closed. Uh, and that first point has been plotted incorrectly. So we got that one right. And then this is the weird question on time series. There's only one of these. And we need to write down two things that are, could, that are wrong or could be misleading about the graph. So I'm going to stick with it as red because they're errors. I think one of the things is about the fact that it's been joined curvy. Really, this should just be drawn with a straight line. So two things that could be wrong or could be misleading. The, um, the line is curved. That is one of the things that could be misleading. I'm going to do the same things. I'm going to look at the scales and see if there's anything that's kind of a bit of a mistake. So we go 5, sorry, 6, 6.57, 7, 8, 8.59, and then there's no 9.5. So I'm also going to say here, 9.5 is missing on the y-axis, is missing on the y-axis. And there are probably other things as well, so we'll see what else they suggest. So let's see if we can spot the ones we've got. The graph is a curved line. 9.5 is missing. The graph doesn't begin at 0. It starts at 6. It's not clear what 2, 3, and 4 on the x-axis mean. The scale of years doesn't make sense. Wow, there's loads of things they would accept there. So you can pause and just check if you've got that one right as well. Okay, in the next video, I'm going to do some stuff on scatter diagrams. I think so far the stats questions are pretty easy, so you definitely want to make sure you're banking these marks.